Hey guys, Scott into football here, back with another Wolves match review video after the West Midlands derby between Wall Villa and Wolves and did nil 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 at Villa Park yesterday. So I am doing I, I'm not I'm doing this match review video recording it on my phone. This is because on my iPad when I press next right to upload a video on YouTube, it keeps on saying it said I'm value video the other day, then it's like instead of it being being blue the next button, it's like black. Basically it means you can't tap on it and stuff. I'm trying to address the problem. It's funny how it works on my phone, so I hope I'll do my best to upload things on my phone. Um it might not be as good, but I hope everyone's okay with that. I'll do we'll try my best to make them as good as I can. So right then guys, let's get straight into the Walls Map Review video. Recently, we have come off a 4 1 humiliation away at Man City. So, yesterday, we were looking we were looking for a response, which we saw of got in a really good match, even though it ended, even though it ended goalless between both teams. Last time we both faced each other last season, they did 1 0 to us at Villa Park, then Don could get in the winner. And you were tied to Molyneux where we won 2-1 with the goals from Ruben Neves and around Jimenez getting the getting the win after Adama's assist. But when we last faced each other this season, it finished 1-0 to Villa at our place, which was, which was kind of undeserved though. I know you're trying to use excuses, right? I'm not picking on Villa here, here right? But I'm just saying it was harsh on us though. So right on to the game now. My thoughts on the game I'll have to, it was a really good match even though it ended nil nil. It was a fair result for both teams. Yesterday we, we went back to the usual lineup we always start with that we always tend to start with. And had a striker at top, William Jose still no goal for him since joining on, on loan from Real Sociedad until the end of the season. I can't see him signing permanently at this rate with Fabio Silver around at the club, club still. And Rao will be coming back from injury soon. So I can't see the game time coming for him next season, unfortunately. The first half performance wasn't good enough if we didn't do enough to get anything out of the game. We could not We could have been 2-0 down at half-time after Watkins and Every Conza hit the bar in the first half. If nobody knows this right, which is, if you hit the bar, it's not classed as a shot on target. That's a new one of me as well. Neither team had a shot on target first off. But if you were going to count a shot on target from hitting from hitting the ball, Villa would have had two shots on target in the first half. And Villa were the better team in the first half. We kept on losing the ball and we were really sloppy. I couldn't seem to really put a pass together, which was a big concern for us. A lot of time we, need, we knew that we had a big second half coming up and that we needed a big performance from everyone. Everyone In the second half we came out the better team and we looked like a completely um, different team than like the first half. We started creating lots of good chances but the best one was from Neto as usual. He's always putting in lots of crosses and creating chances but most of the time no one else will get on the end of it and take advantage of what he has done for us. Actually the best chance was nearly a goal and how on earth did it not go in in from, from Sace after Cody putting the cross then Sace was about one metre away from the net and it still didn't go in what a horrendous miss we stopped for different creating chances and they hardly had chances in the second half while there was one at the end of the game for Watkins that's apart from it for Villa I thought Villa were better first half then we were better second half one of my concerns in this game for us is how poor Adama was in the game. He kept on losing the ball and was quite lazy. When Neto did did all the hard work and he wouldn't help out Neto. Guys, I've got a big question for you all Wolves fans here. Are you Adama in or out? My opinion I say in my opinion I say out because he has zero goals and zero assists this season. So he said, "Look into selling." So he said, "Look into selling him next season. Then we get some money to reinvest in the squad." It's the same about him, really, because he was the most improved player in the Premier League this season, and Nuno really helped him so much. 
And I thought, oh, he would perform this year. His only goal is in the FA Cup, but we're talking about the Premier League, though. So that doesn't kind of count, really. Um, about the game, we could have definitely won it at the end. Just need to convert more. Then we'll be fine for the rest of the season. We're on to the player ratings now. First, we're up with Roy Patricio. I'm giving him a 7 out of 10. We didn't really have to do much, really. Neither did Emmy Martinez, really. Um, so I'll give you 7 out of 10. Right, then Donker now. I'll give him a 7 out of 10. That was a much better performance from him yesterday. It's good defensive performance from him yesterday as well. Cody now. I've given him an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. He's a real leader at the back a bit, like the Man City game, even though we lost 4-1. Even though we lost 4-1. Says now, I'll give him a 6 out of 10, but if he would have scored that goal, I would have given him a 7, possibly an 8, for possibly giving him man of the match. I, I, I try not to be too arse on him, but that miss was it's just horrendous, though. Next there we've got is Semedo, I'm giving him a 6 out of 10. Maybe that is harsh, right, but um, I didn't really see him do much yesterday. Next we got Neves, well, I thought he kept on losing the ball yesterday. Yes, they saw him giving a six out of ten, and he was quite sloppy. Uh, Martinio giving him a six out of ten. He did. Mm, he was sloppy a bit like Nevers as well. Johnny, I've given him a seven out of ten. I didn't really see much of him, but I keep I keep on giving him really high ratings because I don't want to be really arsing him really. Neto now seven out of ten because he just he didn't score. However, he did do a lot of work for us. If he would have scored, he would have got an 8, possibly a 9 for man of, for man of the match. Next, William Jose, giving him a 5 out of 10. He was just really quiet again, proving us why we're probably not going to sign him in the summer window. Next, we got Adama Traore, giving him a 4 out of 10. He was the worst player on the pits last night. He was sloppy, lazy, just didn't do want to do anything or help Neto. Right, the subs now. I've got for Fabio Silva who came on and William Jose came off. I've given him a 5 out of 10, which is automatic 5 out of 10 because you just never know what to give a player when you like, come on, come on, you know what I like mean. Right, on to Man of the Mats now. My Man of the Mats is between Neto and Cody. I'm going to give Man of the Mats to Cody as he was a real, he was a real leader at the back yesterday. And he was on TV last night on Sky for the Matt Free Action. Neto was close to getting it due to his efforts for creating chances in the game. But he didn't score. That's why he didn't get Man of Max. I'm not being arsed on him, but if he if he converts more, I'll give him start giving him Man of Max more often. But I have since I've been doing these match reviews, I have given him given it to him though. Uh, right, our next game is at home to Liverpool next Monday, who are out of form, so that will be a tough one for us. But I'm actually feeling confident, though. Right then, guys, that will be the end of the Wolves Map Review video now. So if you did enjoy today's video, do give a like, do subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications every time I make a video. Have a good one, guys. See you all around. Up the Wolves. Bye, everyone.